Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and this is Small Stuff Big Family. Welcome to day two of our Estes Park, Colorado adventures. Come along with us. <laughs> Honey, what happened? Good morning. We are headed to Rocky Mountain National Park this morning because the forecast is saying that there could be 6 to 12 inches of snow tonight, which I'm sure is like not a big deal for the people around here, but I'm not sure like how things are going to be. I know back in Missouri that would mean that we would be stuck at home for several days. I'm sure that's not the case here, but we definitely want to make sure that we get to explore some of Rocky Mountain National Park this morning before the snow comes just in case. So, <laughs> come along with us. Hunting prohibited? What? This is one of those moments when it is priceless to have a camera rolling on you at all times. We realized that we missed the Rocky Mountain National Park sign because we saw elk on the other side of the road and just watch what happens. Just go up and drive, turn back around and we can see the elk better. Oh, okay. I don't know. Like, just turn back around so we can see the elk. That's fine, right, but I can still back up and get the sun. Did you not see my backing skills on display the other day? We missed the sign, so we're backing up again. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Babe. What did I hit? The freaking posts. Do you not see these stumps? my backing up skills. I jinx myself. Uh -huh. Luckily, there was no damage to the vehicle or the stump that he hit, but we sure had a good laugh about it, and I thought you guys would too, and we still got our picture by the sign. So we stopped to take a picture by the Rocky Mountain National Park sign, and look what Mark found right over here on the other side of the road. We're going to go down there and get closer, but can you see him? Look at him. Oh my gosh. Unbothered. <laughs> Here's his butt. Look at them all, they're so pretty. You want that? Yes, please. And just show your um, receipt whenever you. Whenever you come in. Okay. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Thank you. So for a one day pass for automobiles, it's $25, but you can get a seven day pass for only 35. So if you're gonna be in Rocky Mountain National Park and come at least two times like we are, hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed and weather permitted, then it's worth it just to get the Seven day pass for $35. Yeah, I mean, even if you just wanted to come in and drive through it, you'd have to have it, so. Yeah, even if you just want to drive, if you're not gonna do any hiking, so I mean, anyway. But we are headed to Moraine Park. It's where we're gonna to go today. That is open. They just I just happened to see on the sign there that that's one of the places that are open. Let's go check it out. I mean, just anywhere you go, it's just gorgeous. We're on vacation. <laughs> Just like me. Rude. We're driving to another spot. It's called Dream Lake Trail. I know that I've seen that on the All Trails app, but that's a pretty good one. It's like a two miler. I don't know how much snow is gonna be on the ground. We did bring hiking boots, but we don't have spikes or anything like that. So we're just gonna check it out and see if we think we can do it. 
in just our regular hiking boots without the spikes. If not, we might just snap some more pictures and this will be like a driving around kind of day. There is a place in Estes Park where you can rent spikes. So if we need them, especially after we get more snow, <laughs> I'm sure that we'll need them if we come back anytime later this week to do more hiking. But anyway, that is the new plan. So until then, we're just driving around and enjoying the scenery. We found some bathrooms. Mark is using them now. <laughs> right here by Beerstadt Lake. So that's like the first place for bathrooms. If you're traveling with somebody like me that has to go every two seconds. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is snowing now. Little flurries. I think plenty more to come. Clouds, Look at how high the snow is packed. <laughs> There's the sign. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna go to Bear Lake. That's 250 feet away. I think we can make that. What do you think? <laughs> no spikes, no poles. I think we can walk 250 feet though. Let's see. <laughs> I see you. Baby, you're gonna have a rest there. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. I've never seen so much snow ever. It's so densely packed, we're not stepping down into it, but the problem is that it's like super slippery. <laughs> so, I definitely think if you wanna do a lot of hiking, you're gonna need some spikes and poles. About a half hour later, we made it to the other side of the lake. <laughs> it hasn't been a half hour. <laughs> it feels like it. It feels like we're moving so slow. One eternity later. I really wish we had ran some spikes or something. Oh, honey. We're really exploring. Maybe on Thursday. Thursday's supposed to be nice, but we're supposed to get like another foot of snow between now and then. There's my little mountain man taking it all in. <laughs> Keep in mind that this is what the Rocky Mountain National Park looked like at the very last week of April when we were there. So if you are wanting to go and visit when the lakes will be actually looking like lakes instead of just completely snow covered and frozen, your best bet is to wait until at least June, in my opinion. <laughs> to my knee. 
it's not deep. I'm just probably still goes deeper if we wanted it to, but that's how deep it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> What a cute little thing. Those look different than the squirrels that we have. Different breed. There he goes. There's people out there walking straight onto the lake. <laughs> I'm sure it's a very, very frozen lake. This is probably really pretty in the summertime too, but it's kind of neat to be here with all this snow. I've never seen anything like that. Uh-oh, Mark's making a snowman. <laughs> we told Lexi we would build her a snowman in the mountains. That was cute, honey. It's real cute. <laughs> I don't think so. Back to where we started. A tiny little lake. <laughs> Only part of the lake that you can see. What do you think of the little hike, honey? Pretty cool. That was supposed to be like a paved nature trail. <laughs> Pretty deep snow. <laughs> I know, it's still kind of neat to see it in the snow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've never seen nothing, this much snow. No, never. Like back like that. Mm -mm. It's a lot of snow. I bet it's pretty in the summertime, but it's pretty cool to see it in the winter. All we had for breakfast so far was a banana. I had a yogurt too, but Mark is starving. I'm definitely getting hungry too. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna leave Rocky Mountain National Park for today. For now, go get something to eat. You can always come back. Yeah, if it doesn't start raining. We're gonna go get some food and we saw this um, restaurant called The Egg. Is that what it was called, babe? The Egg of Estes, yeah, I think. Yeah, The Egg of Estes, I think that's right. Yeah, and so it had really good reviews. They do breakfast and lunch, probably like a brunch type of place. So we're gonna go check that out. Check it out. Let's go. came back to the cabin, I put leftovers from our brunch away, and we, you know, just kidding, we had to poop. <laughs> we pooped. And then, now we're gonna go shopping, but it's raining outside, so I don't know. I don't know, are you gonna bring your GoPro at all? Might have to use the GoPro if we're gonna try to film any of the little shops. Cause I think it's supposed to be raining the rest of the day from here on out, but do we let that stop us, honey? No. If Eureka Springs trip taught us anything is that <laughs> sometimes you just have to deal with the weather. <laughs> it's actually not even doing anything right now, so we're gonna just go ahead and walk down to the shops. We're like super close, this place that we're staying at now. And it's also right across from the Big Thompson River. So pretty. This is a little river that goes all the way through town. Here's a better view of the little lofts that we're staying in. They look even prettier from this side. It really is so convenient staying in the place where we did, where you're literally a block away from all of the shops, the little souvenir shops, and all the restaurants. It was really convenient. So I'll leave the place where we stayed linked down below. But definitely one of the things you have to do if you visit Estes Park is checking out the downtown area. Support the local businesses. I think that they really thrive on tourism in this little town. We just got done shopping. We're gonna go through and show you everything that we got real quick. We didn't get too much because of course we have to be able to get it all back on the plane and some of this is gonna get eaten before we go back. One thing, this is like, 
I don't know, almost the last store that we found. I was looking everywhere for a little photo album that Mark and I can put some of our favorite photos. This is just, it's plain on the inside. Really, this was like, it was like this or one other one were the only ones that we could find. So this is cute, that'll work. And then for each of the kids, we're gonna get them something small to take back home. This is for Ben. He loves saltwater taffy and he requested a rock, but I thought this was kind of cool. It's like a soapstone carving, um, like a little wolf. It's kind of hard to see all the cute little details on it on the camera, but I think he'll like that. He likes animals and he likes rocks, obviously. <laughs> this is a sweatshirt that I got for my mom as a like a little thank you for t taking care of Lexi, although she loves being able to spend time with Lexi anytime, but just like a little thank you gift. It's a cute little moose sweatshirt because she loves moose and I really like the colors of that one. This is a long sleeve t-shirt. That's my little souvenir shirt. I liked the colors. And then it's the same logo on the back but bigger and it says the peaks are calling Rocky Mountain National Park. I thought that was really pretty. There are so many little like candy and fudge shops everywhere you go here. Little ice cream stores. There's like three or four of them. So like finally the last one that we came to was called Laura's. So we were like okay we're sold. <laughs> That's where we got the taffy from. And then we also picked up these little milk chocolate almond turtles. I already ate a few of them while we were shopping. And then this is three different types of fudge. There's turtle, chocolate peanut butter, sea salt caramel, and just regular peanut butter fudge. We like buying little stickers everywhere we go whenever we're traveling. And so Mark picked out this one, like a little smaller one. And then this bigger one with the elk. It says alcoholic. It's kind of small, but I thought that was kind of funny. And then this is mine. Take me to the mountains. Hike, climb, crawl, Estes Park, adventure. I really like that one. These are Mark's shirts that he picked out. This pretty one with the elk on it. These are just t-shirts and then one for Rocky Mountain National Park. Really cute. And then last but not least, Mark had to stop at the beef jerky outlet. So he got teriyaki, bourbon, and some sweet and spicy beef jerky. So that is everything that we got. Like I said, some of this is consumable. <laughs> and then I think we should be able to fit the rest of this back on the plane. We still need to find gifts for the other kiddos. We found like this little store that had like these cute little bracelets that we might go back and get for the girls. Joey, I'm not so sure about, I don't know, I was thinking either like a t-shirt or something like that, I don't know. I didn't really see anything that like screamed his name, but we have still several more days here. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of shops that like we didn't even go to. There's a ton of shops here, so I'm sure we'll be able to find something for the rest of the kiddos. We're just going to hang out for a little while and we'll pick it back up whenever there's something exciting going on. <laughs> we decided since it's a rainy night and it looked like... The Elkins at like the actual distillery, it looked like it was like closed temporarily. It looks like they're under construction there. And then Antonio's Pizza is the place that we decided we wanted for dinner. They have really good reviews. Smells and looks amazing, New York style pizza. So we just decided we would order that to go and try to make some whiskey apple sours at home on their cute little plates. Aren't those adorable? <laughs> Everything about this place is so cute. So with that being said, I think we're just going to end the video here. It's been a long day. We're just going to relax the rest of the night. Right, babe? Sounds good to me. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps my channel grow, and I appreciate it so much. And subscribe if you want to see more. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.